So here we are, back from the races. What a what a journey that was. Not just distance wise, but work, time, energy, everything. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I've had a couple of days taking a little bit easy. Yesterday, uh, the day before, a bit of tidying up in the in the workshop, tidied the shed up. Yesterday got in the garden and did a bit of uh, clearance there because uh, we need to start shifting things around and uh, well the, the rains have gone so it's now dry 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 probably all the way through till March next year so we can have a little bit more of an outside life rather than being pinned in the shed which is nice so what I got to do now is the car is by no way means finished um, every aspect needs fettling and tuning yeah for sure it starts and drives but there's no door locks in it there's all sorts of trim missing it needs a polish the exhaust blows like well blows in every joint that you can possibly imagine so alternator that doesn't charge so those are the two things they're going to do first i'm going to get the exhaust done i'm going to get the alternator done and then it can drive then it can tune it then we can get the aircon on it as well probably aircon before tuning because that might affect the tune so yeah I'm gonna get that up in the air and I'm gonna get it up in the air outside so that uh, I've got the working space inside here without sparks and you know grinders and whatever near it and uh, just take my time for once just uh, just chill through it I, uh, I actually ordered some uh, let's see if I can find them they arrived, I think, yesterday. Yeah, the box down here. All right, we'll open these up because they should make uh, make a nicer job of things. This is what I got myself. Ninety degree bends, two and a half inch. That should make a neater job than rather than doing these pie cut and bends. A neater job of uh, getting around corners. Should make it quicker as well. So I can probably still use this this slip joint idea to uh, clamp it all together and also weld it. Because this sort of gives me a double layer. Like that. Slip that on there, double layer it, and it can clamp it up with me. The uh, hose clamps, attack it, and then weld it. So it should be a lot nicer. Without further ado, I should get on with it. Cheers. I was hard of taking stuff off. It's a bit second hand now, but never mind. Right, just a little tip here for uh, for uh, marking out square tube not square square cuts rather than being wiggly woggly you can just uh, put it against a stop and rotate it with the pen just rest in against there i put the camera down and do it because i can't do both Easy, bit simple, but something to put on video in it. It's all watch time. I've got the whole uh, the whole system off now. I think the whole system needs to be redone with uh, a bit more care, a bit more time. So the downpipe that we made is blowing for sure. See all that lovely carbon in there just about see the interference on the inside of it so not quite sure what to do I think that's well actually popping through 
Yeah, it is. So it's hitting on weld. So maybe I need to grind that weld back. It's almost as a ceiling there. Yeah. Bit of fettling and I don't know, maybe we can even make a slip ring for it. I need to think about this one. No immediate answers. But obviously it's uh well it seems to be sealed around the top, not around the bottom. Yeah. Right, let me think about that. Oh, I've just stuck it back in there, giving it a good wiggle around. And you can see that the uh, male part of the downpipe, the exhaust manifold, is uh, this, that sticks into that uh, pipe here. It's hitting on all the welds. So it's never going to seal. So what I need to do is get the die grinder out and uh, just make that all round. Just grind those weld uh, beads down. That's penetration. No apologies there, the uh, camera just crashed. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna fettle those down and uh, the carbon in there is obviously good, good at highlighting the, uh, the interference. And you can see, you can see a bite mark there from the, uh, from the pipe. So anyway, we clean that all up. I might then put some black paint on it and then just check the fit, check the fit and see if I can actually get it to seal. I'm gonna get a, like a, a ring all the way around it. And this is like, you know, job one, the first thing to get right. And then we work on and get the rest of the pipe right. And I'll test all these joints as well. Make sure there's no water coming out of them. You'd think you'd see some, some carbon if it was leaking. But anyway, we're testing with water. And if they're not watertight, we'll uh, plug them up. Looks a little better in there now. Let's just see how it, uh, how it fits. You hear that thing in the tree? Loudest thing on earth. Got a little witness mark here now, which means we're going in the right direction. So I'm going to just spray a little bit of black paint in there and give it another, I can see sort of scratches, but it's not clear enough, and just see what's going on. So if I can get that flange to seal all the way around there, we're home free, no leaks, and then we can move on down the exhaust system. Hello. 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 Boys at home, and I was just under the car and I paused, I'm listening to Radio 1 Breakfast with Greg James. It's about seven, eight o'clock in the morning in the UK, but mid-afternoon here. And there's this crappy Christmas song on, so I paused it. And I went to play again. And it's like 10 minutes later and the Christmas song's still on. But apparently I've got to press this live button. Look at that, and then it catches up. There we go. So if I file away with the windy, windy, windy thing, a die grinder, which I was doing before. If I do a bit more of that, then uh, I should get more of a more of a seal, more of a touch. And once I get it all the way around, then I'm I'm happy. But it's probably a lot better already. A hell of a lot better already. And if you wind the nuts up, it probably do the job. But I'll just give it a wind, windy, windy, and uh, yeah, then we move on. So final thing is to give it a water test. See if that dodgy was welding there actually holds water or leaks. So the flange leaks. So I reckon another pass around that. That's peeing out there. That's just uh yeah. Let's see if I can get enough water in it to fill the uh, to check this one here. Insulation tape didn't hold so uh let's try it again with this. Holding on, but it's got a hole there. 
<laughs> not doing very well here, are we? <laughs> right, well anyway, not much. Not much of a leak. A tiny leak there and maybe a bit of a leak there. So we can attend to that. But, but that's all going to be welded all the way around there again. And you, what well, I think they call it a root pass. <laughs> This is about the best I can do with this welder. Cut out three times doing this. Happy days. <laughs> Jesus, take the hold. That's not good. Sneak test part 55. The hole's not holding. Where's it leaking from? Just no get water in it quick. It's still leaking out of a weld, isn't it? Stop! Give up. That'll do. Right, the downpipe's on there, and then the centre pipe. And that's the uh, first muffler. The silencer. So these pipes aren't actually, uh, what do you call it, parallel? So what I think I'm going to do is go and shoot that noisy bird and then come back and join the downpipe to the centerpiece. That's going to be one piece. And then I can accurately measure that cut. Yeah, those joining up straight and do that and then it's through to there that corner up there okay well short one today uh let me know what you think whether you want me to continue doing you know updates every day two three days collecting uh bits and pieces and doing it once or twice a week let me know what you think. Uh, I don't mind doing it daily. I don't know, do you mind putting a muffler every day off to Austin? Don't mind. He don't mind either. So it might just be three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Who knows, whatever I get done. Because it's certainly be a lot less than it's been over the last two months. Uh, let me know, yeah. Uh, I'm happy doing it all. If it gets too boring or too much to follow or too tedious, then uh, you know, we can drop it down a notch. See you later, perhaps tomorrow.